Hi, welcome back to Home Boundless. This is Cherish and it is spoopy season. I asked my daughter what she wanted to dress up as for Halloween. I said, uh, come up with a costume and if I can think of a way to make it, I will try to make it for you. She designed a full character um, with this dress. Now I made some modifications. She was actually thinking like, oh, how am I gonna turn my eyes orange? How am I gonna do all this? And so I talked her into a mask. So she's made herself a mask from a mask form from Joann's. The main reason why she has long sleeves instead of bare sleeves is because it's cold. It's, it's already snowing. <laughs> it's cold around uh, around Halloween. So the front ha is a front clothes and has snaps because she wanted that. So um, it's not going to look exactly like the picture, but it's still like... I asked her if she wanted long sleeves, I asked her if she wanted front clothes. So she's still a part of that design process. I think it's going to be pretty simple for the most part to construct with what I already have because I already have sleeves from the Gunny Saxon dress. I think I'm going to use my adapted uh, Sunday dress bodice and then it's just going to be, you know, a big gathered skirt so that, that should be pretty easy. I've made similar dresses before. Uh, I just got a new serger and we love her <laughs> and so this is gonna be the first time I'm making a dress on a serger so that's gonna be the challenge is bringing a dress out of the mind of a creative eight-year-old and also experimenting with my new serger the front clothes is just snaps with plastic cam snaps um, the cuff is actually terrible and I should have just looked up the directions to how to do the cuff um, or just made an elastic cuff but there's snaps as well and then I didn't really finish the edges I don't anticipate this dress getting a lot of wear so I didn't really take time to finish them but I just ran them through the surgery even on the bottom which I think you know, it kind of works for a Halloween dress. It's almost got... These colors are just very Frankenstein to me, so... I think it works. These are huge rings. In her design, it's almost around the neck, but we're gonna make them, like, lower, like, butterfly wings, um, that sort of fit across the back. I don't know how to do that. I think I'm gonna cut this out and then flip it over. Did you even see any of that? Not very well. My favorite way to cut out cardboard is with just a serrated, a serrated knife. inevitable but I'm going to try to bend the waist cardboard and not the wings. Aha! <laughs> well, I'll at least get as close to being able to be somewhat symmetrical. Kids, don't try this at home. Because you are quite likely to stab yourself if you are not super careful. You definitely want to be careful. Oh yeah, no, I bent the wing. I bent the wing. All of that was for naught. And gonna be a little bit smaller than she had designed, but it's already gonna probably be a little bit unwieldy. Now that we've done this, 
gonna need to figure out the best way to wrap them in this fabric. Okay, good. I will have enough. I, think I just got a yard of each. Um, obviously, the way that the wings are formed, I'm not really going to be able to flip and turn anything. I, mean, I feel like usually the answer here would be hot glue. Um, I don't really use hot glue because it makes me sick. What I might actually do is I think I'm going to just cut along this and then I'm going to sew it with some chunky black yarn to make it look a little more Halloween-y. through and uh, decoratively stitched all of the felt pieces. I'm going to lay them out. Um, specifically, specifically the child said she wants this half on the top, half on the bottom. Um, so we'll squeeze it in the best that we can. Let's see, where does everything else go? Instead of sewing these down, I'm just going to base them down so that we can, <laughs> I'm going to just base these down so that we can snip them off to launder it or if she doesn't want this to be a Halloween dress anymore.
What's your favorite part? <coughs> um, everything. Very nice. Um, how do you think it turned out? Great. Here, can you, can you hold out? Can you hold the skirt out? Like, yeah, but the green part too. Ooh, lovely. Hold that. Now you can give a little spin. A slow spin. <laughs> Very nice. No slow spin.